you don't know about positive psychology, wow, it is a happening thing. And I think it's fascinating, not only for people who are therapists or coaches to study positive psychology, but for teachers, um, for parents. And then, as a personal thing, it's meant so much to me. So positive psychology focuses on the strengths that you have, discovering them, and actually working from them. So I found out through taking something called the uh, VIA Strength Survey, it's Values in Action, VIA, that one of my top character strengths is curiosity. And I realized, no wonder I'm a scientist. This is an amazing thing. And once I realized I can cope with all kinds of things because of my curiosity, other top strengths I have, for example, are love and gratefulness. And I think, ah, some of these strengths I was born with. I think the love I was born with. But the gratefulness, I was happy to find, I've really developed. I think I used to not be very grateful. Um, in fact, I was pretty entitled, which of course, when you're younger, you are. You kind of grow more grateful with age. But I've been cultivating it for years, cultivating gratitude by doing a particular gratitude exercise before bed every night, just like noticing one cool thing during the day and then at night hanging out with it for about a minute. I do it with my husband and we say, what were you grateful for today? And there are so many positive strengths that we can cultivate and positive psychology is all about that, really, identifying and cultivating states. So it's not so much like looking through your past for what happened or anything like that, but it's like, here you are now. How can you really savor and enjoy your life and become more stress-hardy in the process and everybody, regardless of whether you're going to use this professionally or not, would totally enjoy learning about this 